afternoon everyone, I hope you're well. It's Lisa here, joined by Daisy. Say hi Daz. <laughs> so, not to me, to the guys. To the guys. So anyway, I have just decided to have a break for lunch. So I'm working from home today. I've had the morning from hell, let's just say. And you know when you just need to decompress slightly and do something else. So there's, I'm in the process at the moment, as you know, of doing things in the house. And one of the things that I do want to do over the course of the next couple of days is really get to grips with my wardrobe space and, and just make sure that stuff that isn't getting worn is donated and there's a space for everything and it's a bit more organized. The house is an absolute tip at the minute with the work that's going on. Obviously my dad's here at the moment doing my um, bedroom so the space that I've taken all the gym equipment out of is being turned into a bedroom as we speak I'll I'll show you that but there will be a separate upload on the progress of that um, renovation and um, kind of update so I'm going to show you my wardrobe spaces please don't judge they are a tip that's been needed to be dealt with for a long time you know when you're tired of things falling out at you and you've got nowhere to hang your stuff and it's all crammed in and obviously summer's gone and I need to start rotating my summer wardrobe out so I've got a place for the winter stuff so yeah <laughs> please don't judge it is a mess it's a work in progress we all have it um yeah anyway I'll show you and you'll see what I mean I'll catch you in a minute so my main bedroom I'm really quite lucky I have two it's not a very big walk-in wardrobe, but I have two walk-in wardrobe spaces. So this would be technically the his part or the his side. And in here, I've got a whole plethora of work dresses, mostly here work trousers, and then it comes through into my summer wardrobe. So you can see all different tops hanging there, shorts and summer type trousers. And I've got more coats, long, dresses that I sometimes wear for gala dinners at work, a really nice jumpsuit that I got from, um, where did that come from? Phase 8 that I haven't worn yet, I haven't had the opportunity for that, and then underneath here are our shoes and boots, and then if I wish you across here, so this would be technically the hers wardrobe, so in here I've got all my work jackets um, and blouses essentially with some bigger items on the bottom here so I've got some like my onesies and dressing gowns and then I've got some jumpers and jeans over there, perfumes and then I've got chest of drawer spaces here that mostly have underwear and things like that in and then up at the top I've got a whole load of bedding piled in so I really want to go through all of this um, this is the second phase, the first phase I'm going to show you now <laughs> so these spaces are first phase um, hi I was debating getting rid of these wardrobes that are in here and getting some sliding um, wardrobes, so some sliding door wardrobes, but I've decided actually they're quite decent looking. Uh, the biggest problem is, is that they're just full of rubbish. So let me give you an example. I'm just going to open this door for you so you can see. So we have jumpers hanging and then, please don't judge, more crap rammed in than you could care to imagine. So that all needs sorting out so I can actually put things that should be there in there. And then obviously the other side is no better. This is probably worse. Um, so up there I've got pillow spaces, uh, pillows. I've got bedding which is just piled in because that needs looking at. And then on the bottom here I've got a load of work suits that I no longer wear because we tend not to dress as formally as we used to for work now so most of these won't fit me anyway but I'm going to go through and see if there's any trousers I can salvage or a jacket or two that might be really nice the rest of it I'm going to donate so I'm going to start probably on this side here getting the the suits and things sorted I'm going to take you in to say hi to my dad who's crawling around the floor and making a general mess in the other room and he's obviously emptied all the stuff out onto the landing which is here let me show you this. So there's been a load of stuff dumped in here. And then, look at this. Oh my God, I don't know how I'm going to be able to live like this. Landing space. And then all of the stuff has come out. Are you having fun? 
Hello. <laughs> 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 All the stuff off, the off the back of the skirting boards. Yeah, and the top. So there's new sockets on the wall on the far side, and then skirting boards are coming off, and then the sole flooring's coming up, isn't it? And yeah. new going down. The blinds are down, which is good, but yeah. New sockets. New sockets, yes. Because yeah. my bed's coming off that other wall, not this, not this wall. Yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, okay. So yes, you can see what I'm up against. Um, fun and games. So I'm going to start with this wardrobe. I do have a couple of charity bags for donation this week, so I'm going to get them upstairs, get them filled up, and let's get this stuff moved and sorted. I'll catch you in a bit. literally the gift that keeps on giving I found more bedding in one of I think that was Daisy's very first poppy basket and then some of the suits are actually really nice um, in fact some of them even have their labels still on so what I'm going to do is just have a rummage through them work out what's actually quite nice and then maybe have a try on to see if any of the trousers might fit um, and I will do that in a little while because um, if anything's worth keeping then I'll keep it because obviously work trousers are always useful to have but yes yeah, some of the suits are in you know really good as you can see from that one really good and it's a shame to to get rid of them um, but then I'm not going to wear them so it's that fine line isn't it but we'll see trousers I think that's probably the best thing to do right now and see if there's anything at all that's going to work and if it isn't I can put it straight in my donation pile so I'm going to do that now I'll catch you soon for the Point where this is looking a lot more presentable so none of the suits fit me which is a good thing uh, it is a good thing and it's not but it's definitely a good thing and I'm just going to show you <laughs> there's Daisy on the bed digging like the amount of stuff so I've got a bag over on the far, far side there that's for donation huge pile of stuff here that's to go out and all of the bedding sorted ready to go back in so definitely good progress made so far.
first half of the wardrobe completed so believe it or not all that bedding and towels and then some were actually in that compartment that middle shelving unit but the problem was it was just piled in and you couldn't see it so I've got throws on the top with a random cushion some cushions on the side just over there and then this is all towels I want to keep I use those mainly for Daisy if she gets dirty and, and stuff like that they're not ones that are currently in any of my bathrooms are quite old and then the rest of it is bedding this stuff here is the bedding that's over in my static caravan holiday home so that's the reason why that's there otherwise that actually could come out and free up some more space but those are the bedding sheets that generally now I can see them will go on my bed and then I've brought in from the other room all of my summer clothes which unfortunately I'm probably not going to get any chance to wear now so I've got all of my shorts and cut off trousers here through into blouses I've colour coordinated them as I've got all the white ones together orange through to the blues and yellows and then all of my t-shirts on the end there and all that's on the bottom there is a couple of cushions so I've got rid of all the rubbish that was underneath the clothes can hang freely nothing's getting chewed up so I am now on to phase two so I've done a bit of a cull in the meantime of jumpers that I'm unlikely to wear so these are more winter type clothes and obviously I've got to go through literally all of this junk that's on the shelf now there's a lot of things in there that will be able to go in the bin and um, it's just stuff that you know what it's like you just end up hoarding and never get sorted so I am now work has finished I'm able to crack on with this now and you know just get this in in a bit of shape and get the bedroom tidied a little bit before the end of the day so yeah I'll keep you posted what's lurking under here so I have got what is that an Xbox lurking under there I've got a Wii Fit board loads of different extensions which I am assuming are for the gaming systems there's that can go out it's a wax strip thing there's a disco ball <laughs> which will definitely go I've got a facial sauna and a back massager which I'm going to keep and then there's some jewellery in that bottom box down there so I'm going to rake all of this out I mean obviously I'm going to keep the gaming systems um but yeah no it, honestly it's like there's photos in that plastic box there oh honestly it's like you don't know what you're going to pull out next from it inside here it's um it's bizarre so yeah I'm going to get this lot out and um, work out what bits I'm going to keep and get it generally tidied back into something that looks Okay, I guess. job's done <laughs> I have to say I hated absolutely every minute of getting this done so in here now I have all well not all but most of my winter sweaters because I haven't brought everything else through from the other room on that top shelf there all that there is is a light that I don't want to get rid of um, it was one of the first things I had um, when I bought a house and it was in my bedroom light and you know when you've got sentimental 
attachment to something you don't get, want to get rid of it. These are suit bags so I often if I'm traveling and I've got my car with me I'll often put my clothes in those just so I can hang them and they don't get creased so I wanted to keep those on there. Then under here I have got handbags and a few cushions and obviously the box for my Dyson and then as I said underneath here I've got all of the gaming stuff so I've pulled everything out given the shelves a good wipe so everything smells really lemony now and then obviously the other side is looking so much better than it did before so I'm happy with the progress obviously now I've got another huge bag of coat hangers there are more on the floor down here with some stuff that needs to go into the bin and then there so far and I do have a few more pieces yet are uh, the stuff that didn't make the cut this time so yes a lot of good nice high quality clothes for the um, the charity shops and such like so so yeah I'm gonna call it a night I will show you what I get done on the other side in the other room tomorrow just to give you a bit of an update but yeah no it's a job that has been well overdue and I'm now glad it's done so I will catch you soon guys take care for tonight bye how are you all doing so it's the end of the next day now I have been to work today the weather's been terrible I got absolutely drenched so I just thought I'd come home and finish up so things are starting to look a little bit better there's Daisy on the bed again so all of the wardrobes are done so if I take you into this one, I've got a light there that's to go on to um, eBay. It's really nice actually. It's um, a really nice next light uh, in like gold, like a creamy gold effect. So all jumpers are in there now. Also that's all kind of organised and sorted. All tidy and then nothing's changing here since I showed you last. So this is all my summer attire and bedding. So all nice and tidy. I'll take you through into the other room now and show you the wardrobes in there. So this is one of the dressing rooms off my bedroom. And as you can see, I don't think my clothes have ever had so much room to breathe. They still need some sorting doing in here, but this is for another day because to be honest, as far as sorting clothes out, it goes I'm absolutely done and then I'll just wish you into the other room and I've sorted through all of the jackets and um, and such like so all the blouses are there jackets and I would like to sort the drawers out but again I want to do that on a different day <laughs> <laughs> 